Barkley? He's hilarious. I was at Vegas last month, and I was winning. <laughs> and I thought I could do the usual, be a chump, give the money back to the casino. Or I could do something smart and buy something for myself at the casino store. He's already a family favorite. Rub his chin a little under there. He likes that. There you go. Beautiful. There you go. <laughs> He's a dog and a butler. I mean, who couldn't love him? El Diablo. Hey, Gloria, do you have any idea why Barkley was in the guest room? I was just doing a little redecorating. Sometimes it's good to move things around just to see how they look. Yeah, but the guest room, that's crazy. He's not a guest, he works for us. Hey, give me a hand here, will you? I think his jacket shifted while I was moving right, him. Come on. Uh, we can't have you untucked, our little butler. That doesn't make any sense, does it, boy? Hi. Hi, what was that? Is he all right? I know, my bracelet got cut a little bit here. Well, don't panic. I'm not panicking. All right, try to relax. We can fix him. Let me take a better look. Come here, boy. It was an accident. You know, I'm beginning to think you don't like Barkley that much. I mean, first you hide him in the guest room, and now this. It's ridiculous. I didn't mean to hurt it. First of all, let's cut the it's. He is a he. And you can pretend to be innocent all you want, but action speaks louder than words. Yeah, they can be very revealing. What are you trying to say? Nothing, but you have to admit that the dog butler is a little ridiculous. Well, you know what else I think is ridiculous? That mountain of pillows you have on our bed. I feel like I'm working on a loading dock just trying to get under the covers. They're pretty. They're a damn nuisance. OK, forgive me for trying to make our home beautiful. Well, you know, if I can put up with those, you can put up with a piece of art. This is not art. This is an unholy mix between man and beast. Fine. If you love it so much, put it wherever you want. Thank you. Where are you going? Get some more pillows? <laughs> no, don't worry. It'd be a long time before I bother you again with my pillows. Rough day, Dad. Your hot young wife doesn't like your doll. Yeah, unlike your big problem, my boyfriend's too nice to people. No, see, mm, that's not all it is. He, he helps animals. He's always volunteering for things. And trust me, it, it, it's worse than it sounds. Who are we kidding? We both got it pretty good. Hell, I'm probably fighting with your mom more than I'm fighting with Glory on this thing. A bird fell out of a tree, and he fed it with an eyedropper. Just drop it, kid. We're both with people different from us, and that's going to create stuff. But you want different. Your mom and I were perfect on paper, and you know how that ended. What I got now, a lot better. Sure, people look at us sometimes, and sometimes even I can't believe we're together. But we're happy. At the end of the day, there's no one I'd rather come home to. You mean Gloria? Oh, come on. Dad. Ah, looks like I missed the party, huh? What, what is that doing here? He is a gift for you and Cam. Thank you. He lost his monocle on the drive. Head was out the window. Well, they love that. Let's put him here for now. I don't want that. I think he's cute. Let's give him a chance. I came as soon as I heard your message. Did you say that somebody was getting married? Gloria, there you are. I've got good news. What's the matter? <laughs> 